everyone, welcome back to my video work logs. This is part four in the series. As you can see, we started building out on our main platform here and we've risen it up a bit. This wasn't in the original plan. Uh, it's just something that I kind of came up with the other day. Um, so we're going to build this separate from our original model and that way we don't destroy it while we're working on it. But as you can see, I got a white piece of plastic styrene that I cut out the length. I just have it dry fitted right now with a piece of blue painter's tape. But what I'm doing right now is just determining the height of this platform because I need to go in and start building some structural support so this doesn't move around at all. And then I need to determine the slope and the angle of my staircases are going to come down because I'm going to have another structural platform that's going to go right here with some structural supports and some observation windows, some emergency ladders, some vent hoses, and a bunch of other little things that are going to go in there. So I'm going to start cutting out some pieces and try to fit them together. So if you want to follow me over to my workstation, I'll get today's project started. Alright, I started building on my platform here. Everything is just tacked down really lightly with just a little bit of super glue. What I want to do right now is just determine the pitch and the angle of our staircase that we're going to be having coming down from the right and left hand sides. Graphics 3001 asked me how many hours I put into this. Well, usually a lot of this, uh, the construction time is just dry fitting and sampling some pieces before I actually do any final construction. So that's what I'm doing right now is just working on some dry fits, making sure everything's going to tie together well before I even start any final construction. Once I get all this laid out, I'll cut out the final pieces and start gluing them together. And then we'll paint them up and we'll start adding them to our final piece. So let's go ahead and get started on working on the staircase, working on some of these windows in here, some of our emergency ladders and all everything that's going to fit into this part of the piece. Alright, I just went ahead and just did a little math and just determined the pitch and the angle of my staircase. I just got it all marked out. This is just one of the side grids that's going to be attached right to the side here. So everything that's in gray will just be cut out here. Alright, I got the staircase cut out. And what I can do now is I can just use the negative from that cutout just to make the three other pieces that I need to make. Alright, I got my stresses cut out for our staircase here. And what I've done now is just tape the two pieces together. And I just want to go in with my hobby file and sand all those edges down so they match each other perfectly because if any of those rises or those steps are off, my stairs aren't going to lay flat and they're just going to be uneven. So I'm just going to go ahead and sand these up, make sure they're perfectly matched, and then we'll start putting the staircase together. Alright, I just begin cutting out some little pieces of plating that are going to go right on the front of our towers. It's just a small piece of plastic styrene that's just glued to right to the front of this. This is going to be where one of our windows are. And then our staircase is just going to come off right to the side, just like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the staircase. Start cut out the window here. That's a little bit more detail to our paneling here right on the side of the building. And then we'll get started doing a little bit of other stuff here. Right, I started working on the railings for my staircase, I'm just using this block of soap as a jig. I like using this because uh, when I got this down on a flat surface, it really doesn't move around. It's pretty heavy. Uh, just drilled some holes and spaced them out evenly. I just put the, the railings in and just glued them up. And when they're dry, I'll pull it out and just start on another two sets and so on until I get enough to finish the part of the project that I'm working on. All right, I finished up our paneling here. What I need to do now is just go in with our Dremel tool and start creating some little rivet holes that are just going to go right there over the top of that paneling just to give it a little bit more detail. Alright, as you can see we got our window finished here. I'll wait until we uh, finish the paint job on all this before I apply the lexicon glass piece right to the back of there. But then what we need to do now is start working on the main platform that's going to come out this way, work on some of the emergency vents on the floor, work on the staircase a little bit more that's going to be coming down from the right and left hand sides. I have one more coming down on this side also. I was thinking about creating some illuminated signs right in here that are going to say like sub-level 1, sub-level 2, engineering floor, med lab floor, etc, etc. But it's plugging along. It's looking pretty good. Added some of the little rivet holes right here on the main paneling. Just give it a little bit more detail. When I get this uh, window installed, I just need to go around and just install some skirting just to cover up any gaps or any areas that might be peeking through. So it's looking good so far. 
pretty happy with it. So I'm going to go start finishing up these staircases here. Get some of the railings and the steps installed. So when I get that finished, I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, I got the staircases added. I just need to go in and finish my railings and do a little bit of sanding on the main floor. Uh, get some little putty and clean up some little gaps here and uh, put the roof on the little window right there and call this part of uh, the platform almost done. I need to go in and put my diamond plating in on the floor here also. But uh, getting pretty close. Got my room constructed on the back. Got my door and window over here drying. Inside the room there's going to be some chairs and some papers on some tables and some computer components and stuff like that too. So getting, getting a little bit closer. Almost finished with this part. Alright, peering through our window here we can see our office that we constructed. So I pull the panel away we can see it up close. This little table that I constructed with a couple chairs. I think I'm going to go ahead and make just a couple more of those. The floor is just made out of a white piece of plastic styrene and I just took my scoring tool and just simulated some tile into the floor. This is our wall on the back wall. I just needed to go ahead and just add a couple pieces of lexicon glass to the door and window here. And then along the two walls here on each side, I'm just going to add some computer monitors, maybe some television screens. And then right here along this front wall here where we're just peering through, I'm going to have another illuminated control panel right here on the front. So I'm just going to go now and just construct a couple more of these chairs and do a little bit more detailing on this back wall and start constructing some of the monitors and panels. Alright, I kind of just do a dry fit here. I just want to mock these pieces up because I just need to determine the height of my support columns. are going to come right down here and hold all these pieces together. just need to create a couple more staircases also. They're going to lead down here to our bottom floors. But as I was working on all this, I kind of came up with the idea of just adding all our computer hardware right to the bottom down there. We have plenty enough room to do so, so that's an option I'm going to keep open as we continue to work on this project. What I want to do next is just start working on some uh, other uh, staircases that are going to lead right over to a maintenance and engineering office. A couple signs here that are going to say sub-level 1, sub-level 2, and an observatory sign right here, maybe a map sign of the whole complex It's going to be illuminated going right here on the front of the platform. So I want to thank you guys for tuning into these videos, I do appreciate it. Keep creating, stay inspired, and I'll see you on our next update.